So well, let's uh, head from Sacramento to Manteca this morning where Natalie's checking out some green classrooms. Good morning. Yes, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. Those ugly modules that we're all used to. We're at American Module Systems in Manteca, and this is Tony. Check this baby out. Uh, it looks so futuristic, like something from the Jetsons. Yeah. We, we showed them the solar panels before, yeah. Tony, and, and you, you say that this is grid neutral. What does that grid mean? Neutral. We do not consume any more power than we need to use. Uh, basically, whatever we use at the typical year, at the end of the year, we give back. That's amazing. Okay, let's go inside. you got to check this out. And notice, there's no maintenance on the outside of this building. doesn't need to be painted. Um, the wood doesn't need any additional treatment after uh, they install something like this in the school. Tony and I are going to wander over here because this is the first thing I want to show you. Blue jeans, Blue jeans. go into making this thing. Yes. Uh, we're using 100% uh, recycled denim uh, jeans right. for the installation of the building. Um, it is a very efficient way of insulating uh, classrooms these days. All right, and then also talk, we'll step over here a little bit, Tony. Talk a little bit about uh, the flooring as well. The flooring is a six inch thick concrete floor with a high fly ash content. Um, the building is actually manufactured with the concrete here at the factory and we transport it in place. This section weighs about 40,000 pounds compared to a typical relocatable right. weighs about 10,000. Okay, and then I want to show the skylight too. They want to make sure that kids can focus when they're in school because that's certainly why they're there. And, you know, lighting has been an issue in schools before when kids are taking the test. Explain what these skylights do. Well, this building, we rely on about like 90% of natural lighting through the windows and through the skylights. Um, these lights, the lights we're using are 100% dimmable. So they're sensors. As a cloud goes across, the light levels of the classroom come up. Uh, the more natural light from the sun that we have, the light levels dim down. This, on a typical day, this classroom probably uses only about 60 watts of power versus 800 to 1,000 with the standard classroom. And I want you to show people the shades as well because they're really cool. It's kind of like a cool bachelor pad that you see in the movies when he shows you the shade thing. So push the button, Tony. And then as you do that, I also want to reveal how much this thing costs. And Elliot, take a look at those shades. So how much does this cost? Uh, a conventional building with the same specifications built on site is about $400 a square foot for a typical school. Okay. This one with all the bells and whistles is between $180 and 250 So a great deal for schools. And in addition to that, this, this whole project is called Gen, Gen 7. Gen That's 7. what the line is called. Yes. And uh, Tony and I will leave you with this image. Uh, this is a picture of the two-story modules that are really going to be the future of class. That's the future. We'll be uh, introducing this in the fall of 2010. Uh, we already have a product line that's two-story, but this is by far the way the future is going to go. And this particular uh, company based in Manteca works border to border in the state, and they already have classrooms in the Bay Area that are signed up to take a look at these new classrooms and get kids inside. Paul, Rosemary? Wow, that just ex neat. exciting to see a local company uh, making inroads like that and hopefully making a bunch of money, too. Thanks. Cycle jeans for insulation. There you go. I, I've got some jeans I can donate.